the very one. <clears throat> no trunks are true. Back with another Eureka video. Uh, kind of an unexpected video. Not really, actually. So, it is April 7, Sunday, April 7, 11.34 p.m. And I'm going to do another Eureka video here. See, like, why is there so much garbage over there, bro? But anyways, this is, again, this is a Eureka video. I'm not planning to make this long at all. All I have to do is just show this right here. Just some explain new, some new things real quick. I don't know, I guess walk around the wall, talk about some other stuff. Actually, something that's upcoming tomorrow. Something that's going to be big. And there's nothing to talk about over here. I don't want to be down here for too long because it's freezing cold down here. And uh, I want to go upstairs and go to bed. But so so tomorrow is some kind of solar eclipse thing. Which tomorrow is the 8th again. This, well, it's, a, it's about to be the 8th. So the actual video is being recorded on the 7th. But I'm going to upload it on the 8th. And then I'm going to edit it and do all that. All that nonsense and screen, all the adding stuff to the video on the 8th, and then I'll post it later on on the 8th. So, uh, the stupid solar eclipse thing is taking place on 2, 2 p.m. on April 8th, 2024, Central Time. Don't know what that's going to be in Eastern and Western Time. And all the other time zones. But in Central, I think it's too. Uh, so, solar Eclipse is going to be happening. I think it's 80% in this area. And I think it's 100% somewhere in the other states. I don't know exactly where. I think it... Actually, yeah, I don't even know. But yeah, that's going to be enough. I'm already freezing cold, bro. This is ridiculous. But yeah, there's going to be a solar eclipse that's happening tomorrow. I'm going to get this video posted on that day before the whole solar eclipse thing happens. I'm going to try to film it. If I can't film it, I'm going to see if maybe 3.0 can film. And maybe I could insert into one of these Eureka videos if you want to see. There's probably going to be other videos on YouTube of the same exact thing. So I don't know. I'll, I'll record it if I can. But if I can't record it, I can't record it. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about is this. So as you can see, I've cleaned up the basement a little bit. It's not the best, but it's it's coming together. Man, I'm going to turn into ice, bro. It's so cold down here. Man, it's freezing, bro. I'm almost starting to shake from this coldness, bro. As you can see, this basement is way cleaner. And as you can see over here... Uh, well, one, there's not a, not a lot of boxes. Two, as you can see, all the boxes on top of this carpet is gone. And there's, well, actually, no, almost everything except that was removed off, the, off this fence. And whatever was on this carpet was moved up there. So, finally, there's no boxes and bags on this carpet. Sorry about the shaking. It's cold down here again. I'm shaking, bro. Kind of. Starting to shiver from this stupid coldness, bro. Again, this I don't really want to do this video, but I want to talk about some info. As you can see, I have some... What's it called? Some 2x4s here on the floor. There's one... There's two... Yeah, there's two over here. And then there's half of one right there. And then a small tiny piece right there. And this is for end of line series where... Or end series where I basically just destroy random stuff. Uh, I actually have I have a t I I have a cardboard TV outside right now. That I have to bring inside and destroy before it catches mold. It's already wet, 
it's probably gonna have condensation on it tomorrow so i might as well just let it dry but then i'm have to bring it in on april 8th we'll do it after the eclipse and then i'll destroy it because if i wait until the 9th it's probably gonna catch mold and then i'm just gonna throw it away i already had like two other tvs out there that they had mold growing on it because i let it sit out there for too long so i just threw them away i didn't i didn't make a video on them Unfortunately, I just threw them away. Uh, just pick it up, put some gloves on, pick it up, straight in the trash can. But as you can see, there's a big pile of garbage here on the floor. And this has been all the way from January. And the first ever end of line video we did of 2024 was that Artex and, oh no, that four combo uh, end video where we did that Ortex monitor, that Axer PC, that Crop Herod computer, and that Dell computer. We did that combo. That was the first vi video we done. Then I think we did that eight or one with the gaming CRT, the LG, which you can actually see the vol the Walmart box from it. That's always the LGs, of course, for some reason. But the reason why I have some two by fours here, I don't. And as you can see, they're all cut up. They're all cut up like that at half, but I just have them stacked up on each other. And this is all I have. This is everything I had. They were sitting outside a little bit, and I brought them inside and just let them dry a little bit. And those are still kind of wet. Not really. That's why I have them pushed away from the wall. As you can see, they're not right up, right up against the wall. So that way the box doesn't get wet. But that's that's that. So the reason why these are here is so that way the cardboard doesn't hold on. So that the cardboard doesn't fall behind the wall. Okay, I'm back. So again, the reason why there's these two by fours over here is so that way for the whole end of line stuff, because I don't just throw all the trash out i mean i probably would just collect all this and throw it out because this is getting ridiculous i mean look at this junk this is just this is beyond unbelievable so i'm gonna throw it in that bag it's gonna go outside it's gonna go in the dumpster in the recycling bin <clears throat> but the reason for I, for these stu stupid two by fours i keep on saying it but i won't say it so here i'll, I'll finally say it the reason why they're here is so that way this garbage doesn't fall under the wall and then under there because the thing is is that what's it called this pile of garbage doesn't just sit there for no reason well i mean it does kind of sit there for no reason <clears throat> for no reason i have these bikes and these scooters that drive around in this area this is why the carpet has been rolled up for so long to expose the concrete basically all winter actually and I don't really care about these boxes over here because they they just get run over. I don't care. So that that's why they sit in the corner. The issue, the only issue really, is that this garbage, because it gets ran, ran over and all this nonsense, it always gets pushed underneath these walls and that and like that that storage compartment back thing back there, under those printers, under the satellite dish. And all that stuff, barely over here, because I literally do most of the destruction in this area. That's why these 2 by 4s are there, to finally prevent that issue, especially over there. And then I have that to seal off that area. And then, oh yeah, by the way, we have the cat there. And then that area. So, I'm still going to be doing most of the destruction in that area, but that's why, that's why they're there. And I just want to show the wall. I still have that subwoofer. By the way, what's it called? For the last uh, Eureka video on April 1st that I did, on April Fool's Day, I mentioned that I was going to be getting a TV, I mean a monitor. I did get that monitor, actually. It's an Apex AVL 2076 TV slash monitor. I already made a YouTube short on it. I opened it up, cleaned it out, 
uh, put the RF shield back on the motherboard. It takes DC 12 volts. So I just found some LED light. This LED light charger thing. AC DC adapter that I don't want. Or, well, no. I got it with my LED lights, but I had a better, a better supply. So I just used the better one and I put the, the other one back in. It's the same rating, so it's not like anything's different. But I decided to use the old one for the new lights. And I just had that adapter thing sit over there. So I grabbed it. The TV does 12 volts DC, 5 amps. And the adapter I had does 12 volts DC, 2 amps. Because it's for LED lights. And that's a CFL light backlit TV. So it pulls more amps. Uh, the TV turns on, but the backlight flashes and immediately shuts off, which shows clear signs that it is not receiving enough power. But it does receive enough power for me to verify that it does work. So all it needs is just more power, and that's it. Which I'm not blaming that stupid TV because that's clearly what it says on the back. Also, I found this tape roll over there. This box has been clearly run over. And there's still a brand new tape roll inside. Let's have a look at this. Look at this. Brand new in the box. Sealed. It's already destroyed. See, just some people just don't have value for this garbage. And this is just ridiculous. Throw that in there to destroy. And put the tape right there. I'll bring it in later. I already shut the door. But yeah, I guess I'll just make this the thumbnail. I don't know why. So this is basically just end of line series. Some new updates to the front of the wall. The solar eclipse that's going to be happening tomorrow. Well, actually, tomorrow is going to be nine minutes. And I have to edit this video now. Combine the two parts together since I had to go. Stop the video. Alright, so I'm gonna go upstairs, bro. Come on. Let's go. Go, bro. Okay, he's probably gonna go. So, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching. So, you just show the more things. That's halfway filled. I have to empty that, though. Probably gonna empty it the same day I throw all that out. I might keep it. I'm probably gonna keep this stuff for now. Because we have two computers in there. Uh, five TVs in there. And then there's like three more TVs over there. Uh, cardboard ones. And then I have that extra one outside that I have to do. So all of those are gonna go. And then onto this pile. And then I'm just gonna make a quick video. Probably Eureka video of all the stuff. And then I'll throw it in that bag, and then I'll take it outside and recycle all that garbage. But, yeah. That's it. And I still have the drywall. I actually saved the other piece from the garage. So I now have 13 panels. See, that's what I meant by it's not being... It's not that good. It's... I mean, it's okay now, but... I don't remember it being in that okay shape but now it is i just thought it was way worse but didn't realize that was actually way better oh yeah i put the kitty uh co detector right there now and i was able to close the back door by taping the red thing in there there's no batteries in it that co detector has been put out of use but yeah thanks for watching and goodbye